On the 26th of August 2020, on a quiet LaSalle Street in Birmingham, a delivery driver can be seen loading up his vehicle. This is moments before a shootout would take place and result in the fatal shooting of Nazir Francis, aka Krill. Innocent people were caught in this crossfire and a family car was even hit by a bullet. Today, two people have been found guilty of the brutal murder of Nasir Francis, 22 years old, in the summer shootout. I would not be showing the moment that Krill was shot, out of respect for the friends and family, but everything that leads up to it shows the severity of the situation. Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. Tico Lee and Darnell Donovan Harris were stood outside shops in Lazelle's when Lawrence Morgan and Nazia pulled up in a white Lexus. Morgan and Nazia got out of the Lexus and walked down Lazelle's road. They spotted rival gang members as they said in court and jumped into the car of a passing associate. They then drove to an address that is believed to be where they collected a gun. And within minutes, they returned to Lazau's road, and Morgan was on a pedal bike, and Nazir followed on foot. Morgan fired the first shot at the group, but unbeknownst to them, Tico Lee would have a firearm on him also, and start to return fire. It was 12.30 in the middle of the day, and both groups opened fire at each other, with bullets ricocheting off nearby vehicles. Lawrence Morgan jumped on his bike, and Nazir got into the Lexus, as Tico Lee and Donovan Harris chased after Morgan. It was only at this moment that Donovan Harris spotted Nazir sitting in the driver's side of the car and started to attack him. Donovan Harris then made way for Tico Lee to fire several shots into the car and three bullets hit Nazir and he died at the scene. The CCTV shows that Nazir potentially couldn't start the car because there's no reason as to why he got into the car and he would have hung around knowing that two people were about to open fire back. Morgan was stood nearby and he started to shoot towards Tico Lee and Donovan Harris before jumping into the car as the two of us ran off group. And you can't quite see what Morgan's trying to do, but he's definitely trying to help Krill. He potentially may have got him out of the driver's seat because then he got into the car and drove off with Krill in the car. What happened was the car crashed a short time later into barriers. And that is when Morgan would have had to have made his getaway to have avoided being arrested at the scene. So that is the full context of what was occurring at that moment. Nazir was taken to hospital, but he died shortly after. An analysis of phone records and eyewitness accounts, as well as CCTV, placed each person at the scene. And over the next few days, all three were arrested. Outlining the defence in court, Morgan 25 and Donovan Harris 22 confirmed it was them in the CCTV, but Tico Lee continued to deny that he was there. However, on the 22nd of June at Birmingham Crown Court, a jury took just six hours to find Tico Lee, aged 17, guilty of murder, and Darnell Harris Jr. and Darnell Donovan Harris, guilty of manslaughter. Tico Lee was found guilty of attempted murder and possession of a firearm also with intent to endanger life. Lawrence Morgan pleaded guilty to possession of a firearm at the beginning of the trial and Detective Chief Inspector Jim Monroe from the homicide team said sadly this is the reality of carrying a gun on the street. Tico Lee and Morgan chose to carry the firearm and open fire in broad daylight and Nazir's death was a waste of life and these two young men will have their lives affected. And with Tico's age as well, they shouldn't have actually released his identity. But the Birmingham male made a plea to the judge in order to be able to identify him due to the severity of the situation. And the fact that they said this was a war between two gangs in the city. The killer is actually from the Surrey area. So he's not even from Birmingham and he was found guilty of murder, attempted murder at Birmingham Crown Court. The shooting was a culmination, they said, of a long-running feud between Mr. Francis and another male, Darnell Donovan Harris. And Tico has been convicted of more serious charges. So I send my condolences to the family of Krill. And I hope this shows the youngers that this isn't a choice you want to be making. This city has got a history for long-running feuds. And the last thing that I want to see is any young men going to prison for the rest of their lives. Or even worse, losing their life. So I really appreciate you joining me today. And I really appreciate all the support. Please don't forget to go onto our website for the latest news. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more. Peace.